Let us take a look at more examples of calculations with measurements. All the numbers you see here are to be considered measurements. So let us begin with the first question. We want to add two zero. We want to add it to 273.15. If you enter the addition into your calculator, your calculator should give you 293.15. However, we know that we are dealing with measurements, not exact numbers, which means the answer here is not the correct answer. The rule for addition of measurements is that we are limited by the measurement with the least number of decimal places. So in this measurement, we have zero decimal places. In this measurement, we have two decimal places. So our final answer should have zero decimal places which means this three will be considered our last digit. And since the number immediately after the last digit is less than five, we simply round down. And that means this should be 293 as the final answer. Let us move on to question number two. Here, we are trying to subtract one number from another. If you enter these numbers, 25.432567 minus 73.259 into your calculator, your calculator should give you negative 47.82. Six four three three. But is that the correct answer? No. Again, remember we're treating all of these numbers as measurements. And if you're performing a subtraction operation, you are limited by the measurement with the least number of decimal places. This measurement has six decimal places. Six numbers after the decimal. While this measurement has three decimal places. So our final answer would have only three decimal places, which means the six here would be considered as the last digit. And since the number immediately after the last digit is not up to five, we simply round down, which means our final answer would be negative 47.826. Let us now look at question number three. For question number three, we're dealing with a multiplication. Multiplication of measurements. So if you enter 1.10 multiplied by 0 0.0025 multiplied by 31.09 multiplied by 3.0540 into your calculator, you should get 0. 26110 That is what a calculator should give you. But as you already know, that is not going to be the correct answer because we are treating all of these numbers as measurements. 
For multiplication operations, we are limited by the measurement that has the least number of significant figures. 1.10 has three significant figures. 0 0.0025 has two significant figures. 31.09 has four significant figures and 3.0540 has five significant figures. So our final answer should have only two significant figures because that is the least number of significant figures among the measurements. So this six should be considered our last digit, which means our final answer will be 0 0.26. Since the last number is followed by only a one. The last example here, we're performing a division operation. And again, you have to consider the rule for the type of mathematical operation you are trying to perform. A division operation is limited by the measurement with the least number of significant figures. We have two measurements here. This measurement, 89.456, has five significant figures. This measurement, 0 0.000005, has one significant figure. So how should we write the final answer? First, if you type in these two measurements into your calculator, your calculator should give you 1789120. Well, how do we round this to one significant figure? The Best unambiguous way to, uh, to round this number is to round it using a scientific notation. And if you rewrite this number in scientific notation, your decimal is somewhere here in the back since it is not obvious. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven which means this number is 1.78912 times 10 to power 7 before rounding. And if you round it to one significant figure, since the measurement with the least number of significant figures is 1, then our final answer should be 2 times 10 to power 7 because this 1 is going to be the last digit and the number after the last digit is a 7 so we're going to round this number up so our final answer will be 2 times 10 to power 7